Entering customer invoices is a straightforward process with a few time-saving tricks available. The invoice batch entry process can be started from the edit menu and the batches flyout menu or the invoices button on the toolbar. Batches are collections of customer transactions that have not yet been committed to accounting with a batch description to identify the purpose of the group. Company profile settings are available to provide a default batch description. Invoice batches can have three different types of transaction entries. Invoices are entered for tracking sales, and credit notes and debit notes are used for changing either the customer outstanding balance or a particular invoice amount owing. When creating an invoice, choose the customer, either from the code field or the find button, where customers can also be located either by the phone number or name or posted document number. If the customer is on hold or has a balance over their credit limit, optional prompts may be defined to appear when the customer code is selected. The default invoice number will come from the year, batch, and entry number, but this may be changed as required. You are not allowed to enter an invoice for a customer with a duplicate document number, and posting will also prevent this. In addition to the invoice date, an optional accounting date for assigning to a different ledger fiscal period may be entered. If a company profile option for using accounting dates is enabled. Payment terms are automatically read from the customer record, but these can be changed by selecting a different terms code or removing the code and entering each field individually. It is possible to include a payment on the same transaction as the invoice, either by clicking on the payment button or if the company profile option is enabled to make the payment fields visible on the screen. This is necessary if the customer terms require a partial or full payment with the invoice. Access to all fields can be configured by an entry template to skip over fields when tabbing through the screen, disallowing editing fields, or even hiding them from view. All document types have amounts determined in the same way, using distribution details. Ledger accounts may be typed in, or selected from the finder. Just include an amount and update the description of the revenue if desired. If the ledger account supports using statistical units, the unit description appears here along with the field for entering a value. The distribution may also be loaded from predefined codes that not only have the ledger account and department, but also allow setting default amounts and tax considerations. If particular groupings of accounts or distribution regularly entered onto documents, this grouping can be added from a distribution set. This enables quicker entry by selecting the set code on the invoice and cycling through each detail where only the amount need be entered. For more information regarding the creation and use of distribution codes and sets, follow this link to the Show Me How training video. After saving a document and creating a new one, user preference options are available to reopen the invoice form for the next invoice and also remember the customer code, document type, date, reference, and description from the previous entry. If integration exists with Adagio job cost, a job number or job estimate may be assigned to the invoice, directing the first distribution to the job billing account. Other sales or tax distributions may also be entered. When this batch entry is posted, a new entry is created for retrieval into a job cost billing batch. 
If integration to retainage accounting is enabled, then additional fields are available to track the holdback percentage, amount, and due date on invoices. And another document type of a retainage invoice is available for the purpose of selecting a previously posted invoice with a holdback amount and creating a new invoice for that amount. Manage your payment scheduling by entering and reporting on customer invoices. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.